Tubo, what's up? So, uh, 15 years ago today, yeah, 9-11 happened though, of course, uh, we cannot, we can't forget what happened, and we'll always remember the victims, you know, all those people that lost their lives today, I mean, not today, well, 15 years ago today, and just how terrible and tragedy that our country was hit. But the thing is, though, two things I want to point out. One, why was it not so hard back then to not care about what race you were, what religion you were, what your social status was, when we all just came to one, you know? We're cops, you know, firefighters, EMTs. Those first responders, they were considered heroes back then. And now, I, it's like it seems a complete opposite though. And secondly, man, it's just people that are, seem to just be in charge on some stuff like, okay, I was in eighth grade when that happened, all right? Um, I remember specifically it was Tuesday morning. Um, I had, I think, a language arts class, and I remember like over the speaker system, our principal announced that. You know, uh, I, I don't remember the exact words she said, but with, uh, she, the, it was along the lines of, uh, you know, our country was attacked, you know, giving you the sad information. If anybody that needs to go to the office, you know, like counseling, like, because we had a, because like every school is like, they have guiding counselors and stuff. Like, please, you know, teachers let uh, the students know if anybody, that's like, uh, has anyone in New York, at least back then, or like in Washington, D.C., um, to, you know, see if we can uh, get in contact with them, and, you know, just to, like, comfort them, because, like, we're, we're teenagers and stuff back then, and we're just trying to get the whole thing, but what really got me was simply, I remember after my class, I was going to PE class, and walking down the hallway, I go into one of the other rooms, and there's some teachers there with the TV on of what's happening. Apparently, like, it was all right. I think the, both both uh, buildings were still up, though, but uh, the planes already uh, went into the towers. And the buildings haven't come down yet, though. And, uh, of course, some students were trying to peek in. I was trying to peek in, too, right? And... Uh, no, they're like, no, 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 I'm sorry, we, we, when they saw that we were looking, they, honestly, they turned off the TV, and they're like, no, I'm sorry, guys, we, we can't let you watch this, you have to go to class, and, we'll, and I'm just like, I'm really upset, though, like, why? This is, like, fucking history in the making. I'm 13, almost 14 years old, I mean, I could, I think I could probably handle it, though, you know? You can't assume that, oh, that, because we, you just... Still fucking, still to this day, 15 years later, shit pisses me off. And um, of course, uh, PE came, but we didn't dress up. We kind of talked about it. And people were just like, I remember classmates were like, oh man, we're going to World War Three now, yada, yada, yada. It was like, trying to make, it, make this into like a huge deal. I mean, yeah, it was a huge deal, but like, it was very, it was a little, a little strange to me, you know, thinking about that. But when I got home, though, I remember, this was like a few days though, before my mom got out of like surgery though, you know, uh, uh, she had breast cancer though, so she had to, um, the, the uh, you know, take out the tissue, put in tissue in her stomach, it, I forgot what the surgery is called though, but she was resting at home and my oldest sister was visiting and she was there too and I remember I was there with my dad and the TV was just on, on the news all day, and they just kept showing, you know, repeats of the plane just flying into the tower, and I'm thinking, damn, my mom is when they seen this, and even though she's recovering, though, my sister's in disbelief, my dad's, like, a little pissed off, but also in disbelief, and I remember the whole attitude, at least, of the nation, at least, it was good that we came to one, but it was an attitude of, shit, we're fucking pissed off. You know, it is time to kick some ass. And, of course, we all know the events of that happened afterwards. So, and we got to realize that this anger, you know, getting revenge, 
really solve that much, I mean. It's it's a tough call though. I mean as much as pissed off you wanna get and fight back, it's also like you gotta realize what are the consequences you're gonna get in return, you know? Just just something to ponder about. But again, Kim we this day is remembered for those that lost their lives and we honor them. You know, like we like like as Americans we honor every other uh holiday of people you know, losing their lives so it's it was a day that it just shows our country we can be one with all without all the fucking nonsense going on but that's all I'm saying. Anyways though I'm done chit chatting ranting and um oh yeah Falcons and sucking ears so ooh I can't wait for this, you know. My cousin's wife's huge Tampa Bay fan and around Four o'clock, I will plan on giving her a hard time because of when the Falcons win. Anyways, so I'm out. Enjoy your Sunday, though. It's beautiful out, so hey, try to go out, though. Something, you know. Enjoy that fresh air, see? Peace.